about uh, your process, Joe. When you're, you're going to create something here and you want to print something out, what's the, the process you go through from the very beginning when you create a solid model here? And, and what's the software you use and how do you control getting the, the signal out to this head and actually printing a part? Sure. Yeah, we, uh, what we do is we take uh, any CAD data, you know, if, it, if you're working in SOLIDWORKS or Inventor, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Uh, any, any CAD software that can export an STL file, that's really all we need to start. Uh, so what we do is we bring the STL file into our slicing software, or we can bring it into our sending software and position it on the bed. So if we want to have you know, 20 parts being printed at one time, we can easily do that with our sending software. And uh, what we do is then send it to our slicer program. Uh, you know, you kind of make your decisions at that point. You want it to be a solid part, you want some infill, uh, and uh, okay. make a few adjustments there. When you say slicer program, mm -hmm. what is that actually doing when you take your solid model and put it in slicer? What what happens in that program? Yeah, exactly what it sounds like. It yeah. slices the part up in layers um, and then it creates all the G-code uh, okay. for, for the machine. Everything that it needs to run the print, it'll turn the temperatures on the extruders, it will okay. control the speeds and feeds and uh, does everything right from uh, there. Okay, very cool. So you use that slicer program then to create the signals that go to the printer. Mm -hmm. What then is your process from there? You've got the G code and you've got everything you need to, to go there. How do you send it there? Uh, literally click print. Um, really? So you click print and that'll send it right out uh, to the to Arduino board. It will then send out and do all the work for you. And wow. It'll do all the G code parsing from there. Um, there's another option that we can do is uh, we can put the G code onto an SD card and the SD card can then be inserted, then you don't have to have your laptop with it. It doesn't okay. need to be on. You just pretty much put it in and walk away. That's very cool stuff. Very cool.